What is up, Priest Planet? It is the Tarot Priest back with another pick a card reading. And in today's pick a card reading, we're going to be looking at what do they admire about you the most? So first and foremost, we have deck number one, deck number two, deck number three, and deck number four. So basically, if you guys don't know how pick a card readings work, I just want you to think about the person that you're asking the question about and then choose the rock, the stone that is kind of pulling on you. You'll feel it. Maybe look away, try it again. And if it's still the same rock, then uh, that's probably going to be the rock that resonates with you. Some people do choose two decks. I'd advise you just to go with what your spirit intuition is guiding you. Uh, before we get started, of course, if you guys would like to book a personal reading with me, you can find all that information in the description box below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel as I will be going live and I want you guys to receive the notifications on that. For all the people that donate, uh, send me emails, send me all the feedback, the good comments. I really appreciate it. Um, like you guys know, I just started this YouTube channel and I have so many amazing supporters. So I do appreciate you guys with all of my heart. Let's get into the first deck. Okay, if you guys chose deck number one, uh, this is gonna be your reading on what do they admire about you. Again, if you guys wanna book a personal reading or want to learn tarot or any of that information, it's gonna be in the description box below. All right, first we're gonna start off with the overall message, then I'm gonna go into the tarot cards and what do they admire most about you. So the first message we have is trust. So this person probably feels like they can trust you or you guys might have a really good foundation or a really good friendship. Um, the card says leap into the unknown, have faith and move forward, believe you will fly. So I feel like you kind of give them hope from a place of uh, being able to trust you. Um, they might have told you things that they feel like they haven't told other people and they feel like they could really open up to you um, and they admire that about you. Maybe you guys did have fallen outs and you still, I guess I could say that it's also loyalty, feeling like they can tell you anything and you won't go behind their back and um, basically tell them the, the things that they told you that were really dear to their heart. Um, so that would be the first card of the Oracle message of trust. And uh, just also feeling like they might also with this card feel like you have a good intuition or you could be pretty spiritually sound. That is also something that they could admire about you because trust also has to do with knowing which is your intuition and um, again, leaping into the unknown. So I feel like maybe you did introduce them to some things of the spiritual realm uh, that they feel like they really admire about you. The next card is close your eyes and tell yourself that you deserve to feel joy. You can allow joy into your life regardless of the circumstances you currently find yourself in. Uh, so basically this tells me that they admire everything that you've been through. So they also feel like maybe you you put yourself last in a lot of situations and they really feel like you deserve to have a joyful uh, turnaround. So they feel like what they admire is your strength as well, like everything that you've been through and the circumstances that you've went through, they really admire about you. Soulmate, so you guys could be soulmates. So they feel like, uh, they feel like you guys have a deep connection. Like I said, with the trust card already, this is telling me that you guys have a pretty sound relationship when it comes to the spiritual aspect. And the soulmate card just tells me that it confirms that you guys do have a spiritual connection and uh, they really admire that about you as well. And then sexual union. So they could feel very attracted to you um, um, on an intimate scale. But also understand with a sexual union, it's about having that connection with your soul as well as the card says, honor the place in one another where you are one eternal soul for there will find, you will find true bliss. So they're obviously really attracted to you. You're very alluring to them. Uh, you guys have a really good physical attraction as well as a spiritual attraction. So it's kind of like what they admire about you is having multiple things, um, having the soulmate, the best friend, feeling like they can trust you, that I also get that they feel like they could probably be with you for a long time. It's a very profound uh, energy that I get when they think about you. So this is coming from a place of maybe even deciding to settle down in a, in a relationship because they see so many great qualities about you from a place of, I don't wanna say marriage because it doesn't always have to be a marriage, but it's more so like a long-term commitment. You're someone that they would settle down with. 
And even if some of you guys are like, okay, yeah, they have commitment issues or they haven't settled down. This is basically their actual soul desire. This is how they feel outside of the ego, outside of their fears of commitment and settling down. So for some of you, it's not all of you, but for the few people that are asking, like, why do they have these issues telling me these things and being vulnerable and voicing these things to you? It's because I'm basically tapping into their energy. And these are the things that they actually feel about you from an ad admirable place. Okay, so now let's get into the tarot aspect of how they feel. So yeah, the first card out is the Ten of Pentacles. So this is the marriage card. So they definitely feel like you could potentially be the one to settle down with, like I said. Also, I feel like you guys, just to confirm the sexual union, I definitely feel the energy because I'm sweating like hell over here. So yes, you guys definitely do have a fiery type of connection or this pe this person does feel that way about you. So with the Ten of Pentacles, this is about the whole nine yards. This is about having the kids, uh, the, ch the, uh, the marriage, the commitment, the union, settling down, and basically seeing you like you could be the one. Like they admire that about you too. You could also have a really uh, profound belief about marriage and commitment and stability. Like I said, with the trust card, they could definitely feel like you're trustworthy because of your morals and beliefs around commitment and loyalty. The next card we have is the four of pentacles. So they see you as stable. They admire that about you. Also, I feel like they could feel like as if you are pretty independent. Um, you're stable. You have the 10 of pentacles because again, this is what do they admire about you? So they admire that you have independence and that you really don't need anybody, that you're very well stable and very um, almost like sophisticated as well is what I'm hearing. But this is all about a foundation and a structure. You could be earth energy as well because we have a lot of earth energy. So Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, you could be that. You don't have to be. And the Ace of Cups. So if you guys... Okay, definitely a soulmate connection. That's just to clarify. If you guys are wondering what type of union this is or what type of connection this is, this is definitely a soulmate connection. Even if you guys are not together, you guys are you have a soulmate connection in a spiritual realm. You guys are almost basically in a committed relationship in the spirit aspect. Now with the Ace of Cups, this is all about a new profound relationship. Um, they feel again, I feel like you're the commitment type of person, the settling down, getting married, the whole nine yards, the white picket fence. That's something they admire about you. But I also get that they want to be in a committed relationship with you. Even if they're not, this is what the cards are saying. That's what the energy is pointing to. Uh, with the Ace of Cups, they also feel like you have a lot to offer. Emotionally, you have a lot to offer. Yes, you've been through a lot, but you have a lot to offer on the emotional aspect and the uh, financial instability aspect. So let's confirm on the 10. Yeah, definitely a soulmate. That's again, I don't know how many more cards I can clarify, but we have the two of cups here. So this is a soulmate connection and a partnership. So they feel that way about you. The two of cups is a beautiful, beautiful partnership. Like this is, this reading is just like <laughs> amazing when it comes to a relationship. Like I can't think of anything better than this reading. You guys have a lot of great things about this connection and this um, this soulmate entity that you guys have, even if you're not together. So they see you as your, like you're their best friend. They can share anything with you. The Two of Cups is very romantic. The Ace and the Two of Cups together, it's just like they don't see themselves with anybody else in the long run. So if they're not being committed, because I just wanna make sure that I'm also seeing what resonates as well if they have not committed to you either they're going to commit or they already committed to you in the aspect of virtuality of the future like they already see you together being married having children um they know that you're the one they can't resist it and they admire the partnership and the relationship the foundation the structure the friendship that you guys have you guys could have grew up together you could be childhood friends um you could have a lot in common as well, a lot of similarities, but these are best friends on this cup, um, two males, but on most of the two of cups, it's just a great, great connection that they feel that they have. So they really admire that about you. The five of wands, they feel like you're very competitive. Um, they might also feel like you have a lot of contenders around you. So they admire that a lot of people want the opportunity to be with you. Um, so again, they, you guys do have a sexual union, so they do find you very attractive. Uh, we don't have, much want energy because this is more 
of a, an emotional attachment that they have towards you. But with the sexual union and the five of wands, they do feel like you have a lot of contenders, a lot of people that want to be with you. Um, and a lot of people who have voiced your attraction. So other people acknowledge your beauty and they see that as well. Um, so they see that you're also a strong fighter. You have a lot of courage. You've been through a lot of your circumstances and you still have these amazing aspects to you. Wow, it sounds like I'm really pumping you guys up, but I guess today's your lucky day because this energy is pretty awesome. Let's see what the six card is. So the Queen of Cups, so yeah, they feel like not only are you stable, but you have a motherly instinct as well, like you're very nurturing. You could be a male, you don't have to be a female, but they feel like you're very uh, nurturing and very emotionally fulfilled. You have a lot to offer and they see you as being a great mother as well. Like you have great attributes to having the independence, but also being very grounded with emotions a lot to offer and they also feel and admire about you that you're very expressive with how you feel you're very open about how you feel and you acknowledge that and you're proud of how you feel when it comes to your emotions you're very vulnerable open and sensitive but you still have that really strong aspect to you so overall what they admire about you is that you guys have an awesome connection that you're very independent very stable you could already be a mother and if you are they admire that part about you as well if i haven't said that yet if you are a mother they admire that side to you the sensitive vulnerable side um they also admire the partnership and the friendship that you guys have so you guys pretty much have the whole nine yards when it comes to how they how they see you and and, and what it is that that is admirable to them yeah, so this is this is deck one. This is your guys' reading. If this resonates with you, I'd love to see your guys' comment and feedback in the comments down below. Um, again, I think this is amazing energy, and they really do admire you. From They have high, high esteem for you. They feel like you're very, you have a lot of integrity, and they feel that way about you. So yeah, deck number one, that is your reading. All right, if you chose deck number two, this is your reading. If you guys skip to the timestamp, and you guys want to know more about learning tarot or booking a personal reading, uh, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, but you can find all of that information in the description box below. We're going to start with an oracle message on what they admire about you. So the person that you're thinking about or were thinking about when you chose the stone, this is what they admire about you. Courage. All right, so you are safe, fears and illusions, set strong boundaries. So they feel like you have a lot of courage, a lot of strength. Um, you could be a Leo, you don't have to be, and I only say that because of the lion on the strength card. So I do think strength is also in this. They feel like you have a lot of courage, a lot of tenacity, and also that you're really strong and brave. Like you, you do things that most people wouldn't do. Uh, you take risks that most people don't take. And you really don't care about what people think about you. And that's something that they admire about you a lot. Uh, also, you could be dealing with a twin flame. You don't have to be. But when I see the safe or the home word, this tells me that this person feels like they're safe with you. They feel like they're at home with you. Um, and the connection that you guys have is a safe place. But also, um, if you're a woman, they honor that masculine side of you of being like fearless. You don't have to be a woman, but again, they admire the fearlessness that you have and the courage to face adversity and the courage to, even if you started your own business, taking risks, um, doing, like I said, doing things that normal people wouldn't do. They really like that about you. You kind of have like a rebel energy is like what I'm feeling. Like you take risks, kind of like the fool card. All right, the first one is look inside yourself, examine what is causing you to feel this way. Look deep within your heart and you will feel my love. My love for you is as deep as the ocean. And forgiveness. Stop focusing your energy on past events for life is too precious to waste. You create your reality by what you think, dream, and imagine. So I feel like whoever this person is, uh, just with the love oracles, you guys could have been through some things together. You don't have to, I sense more of this being a connection that you guys already have. So if you guys have been together longer for six months, that's kind of what I'm feeling. 
Uh, this person has a lot of love for you. It's very deep. Like I do feel like it could be a very strong connection beneath the surface of physical attraction. Um, and also you might be quite surprised on how they feel about you just because of the things that they've said about you uh, when you guys got into feuds or arguments. Yeah, and I also feel like with the forgiveness card, I feel like they're, you're kind of, um, they admire that you have this stern approach, like uh, nothing really breaks you. You're very strong. Like people can say things to you and you just, you heal very quickly. You, you let things roll off your shoulder. Um, so you do kind of have like a hard shell. All right, let's get into the tarot card to see what this is about. The Hermit card. So yeah, you have a lot of uh, self-awareness. You're pretty in tune with yourself. And you're not afraid to be alone. Like nobody wants to be alone, but you are strong with another person, but you're also strong on your own. They also admire your strength and your courage to walk down the dark streets of the alley. Like that's kind of what I feel being your own light. So you could have a more of a spiritual connection that they admire about you. You could be a Virgo. You don't have to be, or they could be a Virgo with the hermit card here, but they just admire with this card. It's more so about your courage. Like they, I, I don't know what it is about the courage and the hermit that just tells me that you're not really afraid of anything. And they admire that about you. So with the three of swords, it's usually like a heartbreak. Like I said, this is definitely a past relationship or someone that you were in a relationship with. They are not vulnerable enough to open up and just tell you how that, how they feel. Uh, but for the most part, this tells me that you have a lot of self love and uh, you've developed a lot of self-worth and I think that they admire about that about you as well. Like I said, you heal pretty fast because that's, that's because you face your fears head on. You have the courage to actually go through the depths of your soul and figure out what it is that's making you feel this way, looking inside yourself and you fix it. Like you're just not afraid of anything at all. You have a lot of dominant energy. And another thing that I get with this card is like the girl from Hunger Games. Like that's, that's the type of energy I feel from you. Like you're just, you will go in the ring and fight anybody. The death card. So obviously you've been through a lot. And yes, this again, to confirm it for the third time, this is definitely someone that you've been with for most of you. For a few of you, um, if it's not, then they've seen what you've been through and the courage you have now. Uh, with the death card, you could be dealing with the Scorpio. You could be a Scorpio. You don't have to be. But they see that you have a great cutoff game, meaning you're not afraid to cut people off that have negative energy in your life, people that bring toxic energy, and you're not, you're just not afraid of it. Like I said, with courage, what more courage can you have than to not be afraid of death? Like that pretty much just sums it up. You're not afraid. You're, there's not very many things you're afraid of if you're afraid of anything. Temperance. So you have a very good, just uh, again, under the hermit card, they admire the spiritual aspect to you. Um, the mystic, mysterious aspect to you. You're into some things that most people are not into from a magical point of view. And with the temperance card, this is somebody who's pretty in tune and connected with their, their spirit in a fragile sense. So you could meditate, you could have oils, incense, candles, you could be good into all that sage. Um, they admire that about you as well, that you're just so in tune uh, with your spirit, but also the fact that you can pour into them from a spiritual aspect. And so he's pouring into the other cup and it's like you can pour into somebody and not run dry from a spiritual aspect. So they admire that about you as well. five of wands. So they could feel like you have a lot of competition around you. Uh, but for the most part, they, they are admirable of your fight and your tenacity. You could be a parent or a single parent as well for some of you guys. Yeah. I feel like for some of you guys, you guys could be a single parent and they, so they admire that about you, that you have the strength to be able to conquer things by yourself and being independent and doing so. This deck was the only deck that had four of these cards come out. So that's interesting. Another thing they admire about you is your passion. You have passion and drive to, like I said in the beginning, to do things that many people have yet to do, but you could be an entrepreneur. You could have your own business. 
For some of you, I see that you guys could have like a greenhouse or something to do with flowers in nature um, that you guys do on your own. You could garden or something of that for a few of you. And so you guys have a lot of drive and will to move forward and not dwell on past events, but also this is someone who has like a teenage drive when it comes to something new. And so, like I said, you guys could be a business owner, very creative, very driven, passion. You have really good energy, very fiery energy. So you could be a fire sign as well, Leo, Sag, or Aries. And yeah, with the Six of Cups, like I said, you guys could be a single mom. And so there's some things that you guys have been taking on on your own and that that takes a lot of courage. Some of you guys could have went through really bad breakups. This person admires the strength and the courage that you have uh, getting out of that situation. Um, some of you guys have really dynamic stories and testimonies of things that you've been through. And this person just looks up to you from a place of heroic type of uh, persona. Um, how could you get through all that by yourself? Um, the independence, the strength, and the will to withstand the fight is kind of what I'm getting for you guys, deck number two. Um, with the Six of Cups, this is also the person you're thinking about. You guys could have a past life connection. And with the You Are Safe, again, it could. I don't feel like this is Twin Flame energy. I just feel like this person admires you from a place of looking up to you. And with the Six of Cups here, again, like I said, you guys could be parents and single mothers. Um, you could also have a childlike energy about you, which also gives you courage to do things that most people don't do. But for the most part, for you, deck number two, uh, this is just about having the strength and the courage that they admire about you uh, to not be afraid of anything, to not get it, to not be afraid of getting into the ring, uh, not being afraid to withstand the fight and do things on your own, but also from a spiritual connection of self-awareness and introspection. So yeah, if you guys chose deck number two, don't forget to comment down below. I'm interested in seeing what you guys have to say about this reading. But for the most part, you guys are pretty dope. All right, let's move on to deck number three. All right, if you guys chose deck number three, this is your reading. If you guys just hit this timestamp, um, a few announcements, obviously, if you guys want to learn tarot or book a personal reading, you can find all that in the description box below. All right, deck number three, let's see what this person admires about you. We're going to start with an oracle message, and then we'll get into the tarot. All right, deck number three, what does this person admire about you? Your abundance. Abundance. Enjoy the beauty of life. Your supply is unlimited. Blessings are coming your way and to you. So unicorn with rainbow wings. Um, so basically they see you as being very abundant. Abundant doesn't have to mean just financially, but just in life. Uh, what I'm getting also with this card is just that you guys are very spontaneous. You're very upbeat. You're very fun very adventurous. These are the things that they admire about you. Very bubbly, outgoing, like you always have a smile on your face. Very rarely do people, very rarely do people ask about you, like how you're doing because everyone sees you and they just assume that everything's okay because of the energy that you carry. You're just in this big, magical, bubbly bubble of delicious <laughs> cotton candy rainbows. Basically is what I get for you guys, deck number three. Um, so yeah, you guys just have really fun, outgoing energy. Um, you guys probably go to concerts or, a lot or you're artistic. You might love to paint. Anything from the arts or the creative aspect, you just have a lot of abundance uh, around you. So let's see what these love cards have to say. Only time will tell. Let there be closeness between you and always give each other space. Love never claims, it simply allows and gives and transformation. Your relationship with one another is about to deepen. Love conquers and transforms all things. So for some of you guys, I feel like this could be a new person that you guys are asking about. This can even be a platonic person that you're asking about. It could be a friendship, a family member. Uh, but if this is about love, I feel like if you guys have dated, that this person really enjoys being around you. Um, so it's gonna be really hard for them to let go uh, what the only time will tell, this tells me that in due time, will you guys know if this love is meant to be? So right now you guys could be at uh, a distance or at space or um, traveling distance away or more than that. 
But with the transformation card, I feel like you help this person grow a lot. And that's something they admire about you as well. Let's look into these tarot cards to see. Queen of Swords. So not only are you abundant, but you're the Queen of Swords. You're a manifester. You know what you want. You don't settle for less. Um, the Queen of Swords, everyone kind of knows her energy. She's a manifester. She could be a mom. She doesn't have to be. For, for some of you guys, you could be. For, the, for most of you, I see this as being like a millennial person. You don't have to be, but a lot of your guys' energy I'm picking up is millennials. So more of young. If you're not, you're young at heart. You have that millennial energy. So as the Queen of Swords, she is, uh, again, a very strong willed person she's an advocate people look up to her she's a leader um and she just she has great energy as well but she's a boss and she gets things done and this is the person that admires about you is like they feel like you have it together even if you feel like you don't they feel like for the most part you do yeah if this is a relationship with the six of swords you're transitioning um one thing that they admire about you is that you keep going you keep going forward with a positive mindset so you have a lot of positivity and optimistic outlooks on life and that's something they admire about you if you feel like sometimes you're negative or you look down upon something just know that people don't perceive you that way there's perceiving yourself but then there's also the way people perceive you and people perceive you as just moving forward not really letting anything get to you so again this could be for some of you this could be a new person but now that the six of swords is out it's telling me that this is probably somebody that you guys have been off and on with or have been in a relationship prior or before today so yeah they admire that about you they admire your positive outlook on life and how you see things through the lens of your eyes how you see things the page of Pentacles. so yeah they see you as a manifester again you could have your own business um I just see a lot of concerts a lot of music things of that nature uh, with the Page of Pentacles, this is a child of manifestation, so you could have just started something. They admire your child look, your outlook on abundance and money and life in general. That's something that they admire. The way that you see life is like a child. It's not a bad thing. I'm not saying it from a place of immaturity. Um, this is about seeing things like childlike when things were fun remember when we were kids and we didn't know that santa wasn't real and the fairy tale the fairy tale wasn't real and the tooth fairy and the rabbit and the easter and all that stuff we thought was real they feel like you still see like the bouncy side of the of the world the good part of the world and you focus on that with the positive outlook and, and being optimistic so this is having a childlike outlook on the world, which is very beneficial for someone of wherever they come from. Six of Cups, so we have kids again. So like I said, um, you guys could have a past life re relationship because of the Six of Cups and the Six of Swords. Uh, you could have children. If you do have children, they admire this about you. They admire that side to you. They love that, that you have children for some of you. Also, they may admire your growth, how, how fast you grow. Yeah, the Three of Cups, this is again celebration. Like I said, concerts, music, anything that has to do with celebration and joy, you bring a lot of that to them. You bring a lot of joy to their life, a lot of adventure, a lot of spunk uh, to their life. Um, this is a lot of child ener energy, like innocence, like back when, when love was a cool thing in high school. That's kind of like the energy that I'm getting with the Three of Cups as well. So they admire the fact that you're very social, that you enjoy being social, meeting new people, being open, um, being very welcoming into your space. They admire that about you. And we have another page. So yeah, this is a lot of childlike energy, very spontaneous energy, like I said in the beginning with the abundance card here. Um, the page of cups is about somebody who it has child energy. The pages are usually children, adolescents. Um, and so you could have a lot of love for children. You could work with children. Um, you could be in a daycare working with children. You could love children. This is something they admire about you as well. 
is the fact that you love children, being around children, or having that child-like perspective of life. Also, loving like a child. So you don't really have a lot of boundaries when it comes to love. You're very open and flowing. You have a good energy when it comes to love, a, a good perspective, even though you have been hurt. Like you just have a positive outlook on things and this is something that this person really admires about you. If you guys have not already um, had children together, that's something that they really want as well. I feel like they do, they either want to have children or they have children as well. But it has to do with a lot of child energy. And again, it's abundance. And with this card, your supply is unlimited and blessings are coming to you. I feel like because of your good positive energy, good things happen to you. Uh, people may have come up to you and said, wow, you have such good luck. You always win these like whatever you you win these ticket raffles you're just so good you have such good luck um and so that's something that this person admires about you as well like your supply is unlimited there's so much to go around so much love so much abundance so much great energy positive energy childlike energy seeing the world from the lens of a child um distorts a lot of the negative and darkness in the world and that's kind of like a gift to be able to you could be an empath as well, like absorb energy, very sensitive to energy. If you're in a crowd full of people, you pick up on people's energy or you have good discernment with people or um, you can feel or be very um, empathetic towards how people feel. You kind of take on that. Um, this is what that person admires as well. So deck number three, this is your guys' reading. Don't forget to comment down below if this is what you guys chose. For the most part, you guys are, uh, you guys have really good energy really good upbeat energy anyone would love to be around all right let's move on to deck number four all right deck number four if you guys chose this stone this is your reading if you guys skip to the timestamps, any announcements information learning how to read tarot getting your free question or booking a personal reading you guys can find that in the description box below all right let's see what the overall energy is for what do they admire about you compassion they admire your compassion for the most part, every deck has really good energy. All right, so compassion, be gentle with yourself. Forgiveness will set you free. See the light in yourself and others. So basically this is telling me that this is how the person feels about you. You have a lot of compassion for other people. You could be an empath as well because you're able to pick up energy from and have empathy for other people taking on how they feel. Okay, so this person, sees that you are very gentle with other people. Uh, you have a lot of compassion. You could work with a community. Um, you could uh, donate, be a donor, also volunteer at shelters, uh, volunteer at hospitals. You just have a lot of compassion for people and you see the light. So basically you give people the benefit of the doubt. So all of the people who, who others may say, you shouldn't do this, you shouldn't do this. You look at it from a different point of view and saying that, you know, everybody has good within them. Everybody has light within them and we should help them. And so from a place of compassion, um, this is also a volunteer leader. So you could feed the homeless, though this could be a stereotype. It's all about how you decide to interpret compassion. But for the most part, this person sees that you have a lot of compassion. I even feel like, and you know, I'm gonna clarify the cards because I haven't looked at them yet. I even feel like there's some things that this person may have done to you, but you still have compassion for them. You just give people that hurt you the benefit of the doubt because you embody and embrace the energy of love. Balance. Love is not always about agreeing just for the sake of it. A great relationship is one that both supports and challenges. Playfulness. And the past is now behind you. Release it and embrace new possibilities. A new path is now available to you. Follow it with faith. So this tells me your guys' connection, the love oracles. And this tells me that you guys could have been in a relationship with this person. Um, and you guys might have some ups and downs. But for the most part, this person feels as if you guys do that, that you have compassion. They admire that you have compassion. And also they feel like, They also feel like you have like a lot of faith. 
So the things that have happened, you still seem to see things from giving people the benefit of the doubt. You still see the light in the situation. Um, somehow you have this gift in this heart of gold to just forgive people. And that's, that's kind of what I get with your guys' connection. The first card is the Eight of Pentacles. So this person can see you as very stable. Um, you know, you have the, you're pretty stable for yourself. They feel like you also are an expert in whatever it is that you do for work, whatever it is you do on a day to day basis. They feel like you have a very good skill set and that you're an expert in what you do and they admire that about you. Um, with this card, it's interesting because their, his home was lost back in the Five of Pentacles. Like they lost the home. And so you may have lost things, but you have just recovered and rebuilt things. And I truly believe that because of your energy of compassion, you have a lot of favor on your life and a lot of blessings, but they admire the fact that you were able to pick yourself off the ground when things got rough. The Fool card. So you take a lot of risks. Um, you're a rebel, you're a free spirit. They admire that about you. They also admire that although people may judge you for your foolish ways, as they would say from their perspective, they he th this person admires that you don't care what people think of you and that you follow your heart and not your head. And so though things may seem logic or logical to others, you don't really care because you feel like you have, that you have this, and you do, you have this gift of intuition as well um, they see that, that you just do things that don't make sense and you just, you're following your heart. And so they admire that about you with the fool. They also feel like there's infinite potential and abilities um, to do things with you because of your compassion. Four of swords. So this person thinks that you have, that they admire that you have a good sense of clarity when you do things. A, a stable mind when you do things that you take some time to rest and rejuvenate you understand you understand the spiritual aspect of life not so much like the logical analytical side of life you just follow energy and so with the four of swords you have a very stable um, mindset and though you lose things you still gain clarity and so it's almost like you, you're teaching them through your compassion. <laughs> the moon card. So I feel like with the moon card, they admire your realness. Because with the moon card, this is someone who's looking at the mask. They admire that you are yourself, that you don't switch up, that you don't change, that you remain who you are no matter what the circumstances. I also feel like you bring a lot of things about this person to the light and, it, and it's not coming from a place of trying to feel like you're better but it's just things that you feel that this person can improve on that you've brought to the light so you've been a teacher a teacher through compassion it's you have pure motives for uh, revealing certain things about people uh, from a compassionate place to better them to help them you could be a pisces you don't have to be with the moon card and so they admire that you're always yourself. You stay true to yourself, that you don't have false identities um, and that you're open. With the eight of wands, they feel like you make a lot of things happen, that you move forward uh, with passion, inspiration, motivation, good energy, wishes coming true for you. You have good luck and good fortune, but this, this person admires that about you, but they don't realize it's because of your compassion. Things move very rapidly for you. Like I said, you could have lost things with the five and we're back to the eighth. So you grow very fast. And that's also because of your compassion. You see things from a love point of view and not from a logical or ego point of view. That person admires this about you as well. They admire how you can make things happen and manifest things so quickly. They also see you as very elegant. Very elegant, whether you're a man or a woman, you carry yourself with an, air, uh, an elegant sense of spirit. Also, they see that you're very mystical. So I do feel like they do see that you have an um, 
a very mysterious side to you that they don't quite understand just yet. And they admire that about you as well. They admire your perception of the world, how you see the world, how you view the, view the world. They also feel like you're a dreamer. And they admire that about you as well. Um, that you have a gift of making dreams reality. You have a gift of making things happen. And I, for the last thing I'm going to say for you guys, for deck number four, I feel like... I feel like they admire that there is no... There is no mask with you. What you see is what you get. And you're very open about that. You're very open to who you are. You're very accepting of who you are. Uh, you're very free flowing. Again, with the full card here, very free flowing. Um, you have a very free spirit from a place again, from compassion. And you, you have a gift of uh, forgiving people. Not, not for them, but for you, you've learned, you actually are really wise when it comes to spirit and energy. This is something that they admire about you as well. So yeah, overall, they just feel like you have a very gentle spirit of compassion, of love for others, seeing the benefit of the doubt, giving people the benefit of the doubt, seeing light within yourself and others. Um, seeing things from a, a perspective of being a free spirit, following your intuition, your inspiration, your excitement. You're really in tune uh, with your higher self or your intuition, source, God, whatever you believe in, it's of your resonance. But if you feel like this, that is not you, that is certainly um, something that you have yet to discover about yourself that other people see with you. You do have a really good connection with your intuition. It's been guiding you all along. And I feel like you have good fortune as well. Good luck. And it doesn't have to be with money. It's just in life because of your heart. So yeah, deck number four, that is your reading. Uh, don't forget to comment down below. I'm interested in seeing how this resonates with you guys. Um, again, group number four, it's all about compassion and seeing the light in yourself and others. All right, until I see you guys in the next pick a card reading, 